From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA Late with incredible great news about your fourth Sirius Check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over the $3.5 trillion package that has been passed. They'll pay you upwards of $15,000. It involves three clusters. Cluster number one passed, including hazard pay. But now a provision being proposed to be added in, $25,000 of hard coal cash. Cluster number two passed, including free home repairs, plus a provision being proposed to be added, which pays $250 billion for seniors and people on disabilities. Cluster number three passed, including free internet, and a provision being proposed to be added, those monthly stimulus checks. Then out of nowhere came yet another deal today. Yes, you're hearing this for the first time on this morning's broadcast. Another deal is in the works with Joe Manchin. This is on top of the possible deal revealed yesterday with the senator from West Virginia. I have the breaking news you're hearing for the first time in this recording. Then the big surprise as more student loan debt is forgiven. I have the latest details and what this means for you and what's coming up next. Then we have more COLA raises coming, but guess what? You're gonna see not one, but two other raises thereafter. We got a big broadcast and we're only getting started because we're also gonna be cutting it to the big money under third stimulus. As one viewer got nearly $36,000 going into the weekend, and we're gonna show you how to get these big sums of money, plus fifth stimulus. We got a big broadcast with a lot of breaking news that happened minutes ago. The toast is toast and the butter is butter and I'm here, you're here, and it's time for Mornings at a Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. And boy, the weather has been very peculiar in Los Angeles. It's been freezing cold at night in the 40s, and then during the day, 90 degrees. I don't know what's going on, um, but I'm liking it at the moment. In this recording, we'll go over that four stimulus check and why it's going to pay you upwards of $15,000. That's with a $25,000 add-on on top of that, the $250 billion add-on for seniors, and then the MSC add-on on top of that. We'll go over cluster number one, like has to pay cluster number two at home repairs and cluster number three that has lots of checks for you across the board then we'll be going to the details that no one saw coming with yet another potential deal with joe manchin just minutes ago whoa this is breaking news on today's recording then we go to student loan debt forgiveness more of it and then the big raise for cola we got a lot in a recording and i'm excited for you to join me we also have the big exciting details of third stimulus paying viewers now upwards of thirty six thousand dollars this week <laughs> not january this week i'm going to show you how to get that money as well we got a big recording and this is ally in america's only 24-hour day seven days a week financial news channel in america live in the morning taped in the afternoons coming up next is noontime at 11 a.m i'm back with you live and then we got big shows today afternoons la to one afternoons la to three a brand new show and evenings la but boy, I'm really excited for you because the shows from Evenings LA to the next morning are all about four stimulus. Every show on the hour, every hour. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. The best and only channel like this in America. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's cut right into this incredible $3.5 trillion recon, which passed. It's important to remember. The recon is for everyone, single individuals, married couple, people with children, people without children, SSI, SSDI, red states, blue states, it's all for you. And it'll pay you upwards of about $15,000. As soon as it becomes a law, I'm going to show you how to get these big sums of money. But now let's go to the first cluster of checks they got in there. And this first cluster of checks are hazard pay and also elder care. Oh, wow. So hazard pay, they got in there by broadening the earned income tax credited 
and increasing the earned income tax credit so the central workers get more money. Up to $4,000 a year of elder care got in there as well, up to $4,000 a year to care for young children. Then they got free money to repair the home. Wow. If your home is in a low-income community, free money will be coming to you to repair the home. They got $51,000 of monthly stimulus checks in there, MSCs. The CTC, the child tax credit, broadened the eligibility and increasing the amount of money. How much? Up to $300 every month, every year. Up to 18 years, that is $51,000 per child. They got money in there for college students, grants to them, to the university, and the Pell's grant made tax-free. And then finally, big money for electric bikes, cars, and trucks, all U.S. auto manufactured. First, up to 15% for the purchase price of a new electric bike, $7,500 for a new electric vehicle, personal use, a little bit more for business use, and there we go. That is the first of three clusters of checks that'll pay you upwards of $15,000 that have been passed so far in this $3.5 trillion recon. Let's go to the first add-on that has been proposed, and that add-on is incredible. $25,000 being proposed to be added onto this recon for you. What is it for? It's hard, cold cash that will be for you for your purchase of your first home. Yes. Maxine Waters, the legislator of the House Representative here from Los Angeles, proposing $25,000 an individual for the purchase price of a new home. This is big. How would it happen? The way I can see this happening is doing escrow. The federal government would provide $25,000 from you for you in behalf of your name to the seller during the escrow period. Incredible. And there you go. That's the first of three add-ons. Let's go to the second cluster of checks. And the second cluster of checks are incredible. Remember, this recon is just for life in general, not pandemic. It's just life in general. And the second cluster starts right now. We got in the second cluster of checks more home repairs and also paid leave. Wow. That's a lot of money. Let's go over the details. Up to $1,700 a week. If you make $70,000 or more per year, that's paid leave, paid family leave. Let's say you make $35,000 a year, that would be $800 a week. Let's say you make $15,000 a year, it would be $400 a week. Family leave, you have to stay home because your wife is pregnant. Medical leave, you have to stay home because your son broke his leg. They got household tax credit checks in there, child care programs checks in there. And then they got pre-kindergarten, totally free, tuition-free community college, and then checks for seniors like dental, vision, that will be coming up on the third cluster. But boy, they also got in there more home repairs. These home repairs are for everyone. And what are they? Weatherizing your home. Yes, checks to weatherize your home. Definitely needed, especially if the uh, moderate Democrats are on the roof. <laughs> As I always say, weatherize your home to keep the moderate Democrats out of the House. <laughs> and wherever possible, keep the moderate Democrats out of the Senate. <laughs> There you go. That's the second of three clusters of checks passed in that $3.5 trillion recon. Let's go now to the second add-on. And that second add-on is insane. $250 billion of incredible money for my seniors and my SSDI, my people on disability. Who's the proponent? Who's the proposer of this one? It's a senator. His name is Senator Bob Casey, Democrat, Pennsylvania, 61 years of age. He has proposed $250 billion for seniors in SSI and SSDI. Let me explain what it's going to be for. For example, home health care. Casey looks at the situation and says, you're a senior, you're an individual on disability, you're staying at home, and you can't afford home health care. So your son and daughter are staying home to take care of you, uh, to provide it to you, and that son and daughter can't go to work and can't make an income and provide for their family. So what Casey's going to do, great idea, is going to give fortunes, $250 billion, to the states so that the states can then offer you free home health care from a licensed professional. And then your son and daughter can go into the workforce and make a living if they wish, and the, it will alleviate workforce shortages. There we go. What a great idea. That is the second add-on. Now let's time, turn to the third third cluster of checks, and these include items that are actually, one item that actually gets an exclusive from Bob Casey as well. The third cluster of checks are money for seniors and free internet. Let's go over all of them and watch for two words I see in this video called clean energy. Free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, checks for uh, free internet, checks for farmers, checks for clean energy. 
come back to that later in this video. Checks for workers and check like independent contractors and checks for seniors like dental, vision, and hearing care and lowering the eligibility age for Medicare. In a world exclusive, I can report that Bob Casey's office, the 61-year-old Democrat, is looking to drop the eligibility age for Medicare in this third cluster passed from 65 to 60. Wow. There you go. That third cluster has incredible checks in there, uh, including free internet. All you have to do is ask what the username and password is. The username is uh, Sinema No More, <laughs> and the password is Arizona does, Don't Want You. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, that is the, sec the third cluster. Three clusters of checks passed, 3.5 trillion. And we've seen two add-ons. Well, you know what the third add-on is. Yes, that third add-on is a deliciousness. And it is that MSC. We have three breaking news stories about the MSC today. First, we have the number one guy in the Senate, Chuck Schumer. His office is telling the viewer going into the weekend, this weekend, that he's putting in there a monthly stimulus check provision. We have him telling Debbie Applegate last week that he's putting in a monthly stimulus check provision. And we have him telling Donnie's wife the week before that he's putting in a monthly stimulus check provision. But the MSC gets a big surprise that no one saw coming with a deal from Joe Manchin. What? Yes, later in this video, you're going to see a new deal hatched with Joe Manchin that involves removing completely removing a provision from the recon that concerns clean energy. I told you to listen to that, that item in the third cluster. Removing a provision of clean energy from the third cluster, guess what? That frees up a lot of money, upwards of about $250 billion. Well, guess what that $250 billion can be used for? It's not lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's great news. A lot of money's freed up in that recon, and we're just getting started. But let's turn to the other part, the third part of the great news, which is this letter. This letter came in going into the weekend from the chief of staff in D.C. to the number one legislator for your recon. And the chief of staff, as you know, is the number one person in the office. That number one person in the office is just one step down from the senator themselves. And what does the message say? Let's read it together. It says, they now have in total between congressional and senator offices, we have received more contacts of advocacy from the LA Purple Power than the number of signatures in the recon in uh, the American petition. Wow. Everyone is amazed by the outpouring of touching stories from LA's viewers. Now they have from LA more than the, what has been called a bunch of signatures from the American petition. They have a better understanding because of LA of how the Americans are now trying to make it through the pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories from LA viewers, and now they have the voice of the people in LA as the nation has become in of the nation as it has become too large to ignore his voice. Well, thank you. And then let's go into the final sentence, which is a message sent directly to me. And that message says the following. Please continue your encouragement, Ally, for the continued advocacy. As you, Ally, are the professional voice of the people, you have become and continue this until it becomes law. Well, thank you. And what that message is basically saying is we need to push until we're over the finish line. In the second half of this video, we have a lot coming up with a new deal. Yes, this is a second deal. Hatch with Joe Manchin. It's great. We have a deal for bringing the recon from three to two into the two trillion. It's wonderful. We have a new de we have new details about that cola raise, new details about student loan debt forgiveness. You're gonna meet one person who got thirty-six thousand dollars this week because of third stimulus. I'm gonna show you how to get this big sums of money as well as L8 Mornings continues in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.l8.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. 
their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals. Reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Mornings LA, live from Santa Monica, where the heat is starting to come on in. I can feel it just in the last few minutes. Boy, we got a big broadcast still heating up as well. As a potential deal in the works and a new deal released today with Joe Manchin. This is the second deal, and oh boy, is it good. Then we turn to student loan debt forgiveness. More debt being forgiven has yours. I'll explain the details in this recording. Then we turn to COLA raises, and there will be more raises of your benefits come in under this stimulus. How many more? I'll explain the details. Then we turn back to the exciting details of third stimulus, because third stimulus is paying viewers a lot of money. How much is it? It's paying viewers upwards of $36,000 this week. Wow. We'll be coming back to fifth stimulus, which is heating up shortly, and all the details you need to know. But with that, subscribe. America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week. Financial News Channel returns at 11 a.m. I don't want you to miss a single show. Then we got shows at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, the two afternoon shows, and then a big Evenings LA to 5. The hit new show, Evenings Countdown at 6, Street and Stimulus at 7. And then after Sirloin at 8, we got shows at 9, at 10, 11.30, 3 a.m. and 3.30, all about four stimulus until I return with you with Early Mornings LA. So subscribe, like this video, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Let's turn into that big, big surprise that no one saw coming, which is that student loan debt forgiveness. Student loan debt forgiveness got a big surprise, and that big surprise is that there is now more debt forgiven because of the president. Let's go over all the details of what this involves and how the president surprised us with this incredible sums of money. Student loan debt forgiveness had gotten initially forgiven by the president when he forgave student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after graduation. But this last week, he forgave two more rounds of student loan debt and said he'll do a third. What did he do? First, he forgave all student loan debts for individuals who went to go work in the nonprofit sector after graduation for 10 years. Your debts are now gone. Then, in a big surprise, he forgave all student loan debts for people who go to work in the public sector for 10 years after graduation. This is you if you went to go work for the state, the county, the city, or the federal government and have worked there for 10 years after graduation. Public school teacher, sanitation driver, public works official, this is you. One viewer in morning's countdown yesterday heard the news when it happened. He was in the live chat and he saw it happening. He came into the video watching a video about four stimulus. He did not expect to hear the announcement about student loan debt forgiveness. And he immediately said, but I'm a prison federal guard and I've been one for 20 years since graduation. What about me? And I said, sir, your debts have been forgiven. The viewer was overwhelmed learning while watching a video that his debts had just been forgiven and he didn't even know it. There you go. Let's turn to some other exciting great news and that other exciting great news happened just minutes ago. It is the big latest Joe Manchin deal. Another deal with Joe Manchin is heating up. And what is going on? Let me explain the details. 
Another deal with Joe Manchin is being announced today on top of the deal with Joe Manchin that happened uh, yesterday. Let's go over each of them one at a time. When we look at the recon, we got three things to fix to get the moderate Democrats on board. The three things you have to fix are, first, bringing the recon price tag from $3.5 trillion, three and a half trillion down, down to about low $2 trillion. That's easy. I'm going to go over that in a second. Number two, you have to change the prescription medication words for Kristen Sinema. That is one of the things she wants changed. And finally, you have to change some of the climate words for Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin is the senator from West Virginia, when West Virginia is very big with fossil fuels and a lot of those type of industries. These are his biggest constituents. When we talk about climate, what do I mean by climate? It does not refer to uh, the sky is blue or the beach is blue or the beach, beach is cold today. It's referring to carbon dioxide in the air, coal, natural gas, hydrogen, and fossil fuels. In Joe Manchin, he has in his state several industries that dominate all his contingency, and they are things like fossil fuels. So what happened? Going into the weekend, I got word of a story that was buried in a print article, print article you're not going to see anywhere else, that said that the White House has now potentially inked a deal with Joe Manchin by modifying some of the wording in one of the clusters now passed so that Joe Manchin's industries in his state can qualify for the money. <gasps> wow. What's going on here? So there's a provision in one of the recons that concerns climate. And the people that would qualify for the money, currently the way it's written, would not allow Joe Manchin's businesses in his state to qualify for the money. So they modified the language uh, in the White House, so that Joe Manchin's top constituents, his biggest industries in the state, would qualify for fortunes of money. Wow, this seems like it's just a match made in heaven. The changes that the White House has now orchestrated to the language of the past provisions, the, 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 the approved provisions of the recon, would make it easier for coal and natural gas power plants to receive billions of dollars from this recon, which would be huge for Joe Manchin's biggest constituents, which are fossil fuel providers in his home state of West Virginia. Wow, that sounds like it's just absolutely perfect. That was the first deal. Now, a new deal on Nerf today. A new publication out today says that Joe Manchin wants a particular provision that concerns climate that has been put in the recon and has been passed, removed. Now, there's a lot of provisions about climate in the recon, a lot of them. Climate and more climate, a lot. I just don't cover the channel. Remember early in the video I said, listen to that keywords, clean energy? Yeah, it's right there. Right there in that third cluster, there's a section for clean energy, and there's a lot of checks about clean energy, not one. One of them, Joe Manchin doesn't like. He thinks they run afoul to what he does in West Virginia. So the White House has reportedly agreed to remove that provision for clean energy from that part of the third cluster. Why is this good news for us? It's about three items of good news. First, it's good news because we're getting close to a deal with Joe Manchin. Number two, it's really good news because finally, after... How many weeks has it been? Eight weeks? Nine weeks? Where the President Bernie have always said, I don't know what these people want. Can they s please tell me what you want and we'll do it? Now it appears that everyone's talking. And someone in the White House has really been able to get Joe Manchin to speak. And they've been getting a very good sense of what people want. So they can say, okay, we can make these changes. We can get it done. Th just keep on telling me what you want and we'll get it done. And I love this. Now that people are actually communicating and they know where to take things out. And of course, you know what the third reason is why I like this. <laughs> I've already said it in this video. Because it frees up a lot of darn cash. <laughs> it frees up a lot of cash in the recon. Remember, the recon is this thing of cash. And if you free up cash, then you can allocate the cash for something else. Because we got three add-ons. 
We got Maxine Waters, we got Bob Casey, and we got the MSCs. Wow, that is incredible. Now, let's turn it to the next part of this recon that is getting done and dealed with. And this is not should not be a surprise to any of you on this channel, because I've been really covering this exclusively over the last few weeks. It is the issue of how to bring it from 3.5 trillion down to 2 trillion. Shorten the duration of how long the programs run. Over the last eight weeks, I've delivered a lot of reports, and it's sometimes I didn't know if that report, if my report was exactly uh, correct. And I would say maybe I'm speculating here. Now we know that my speculation was 100% correct. And what happened? I had said that I thought that Bernie Sanders' $7 trillion recon proposal were 20 year pro provisions. We now have confirmation this weekend they were. I had said that I was speculating that I think that the recon at $3.5 trillion currently has 10 year programs. My speculation has now been confirmed as correct as well. Two weeks ago, I said the way you get this recon from 3.5 trillion to 2 trillion is shorten the duration of the programs. Since then, Pelosi and Jalapal repeatedly have said that's how we're going to get it done. Now let's recap. Let's recap. What are they looking at at the moment? We have a recon that's 3.5 trillion, and the programs, as I had speculated, now confirmed are 10-year programs. So. What I said over two weeks ago is just bring the programs in less years, and then suddenly the recon shrinks. Keeping all the programs 100%, keeping all the programs with big checks. I said the mindset should be the following. Big checks, quick checks, send them out this year, next year, the year after that, and then we'll deal with the situation in four years from now or the five years from now. We don't need to be focused on eight years from now. We don't need to have watered down minuscule checks now because we're dragging them off over 10 years. No, we need big checks this year, next year, the year after that, and then we'll figure out the situation after that. And guess what? Now this weekend, Pelosi and Jalapal all confirm the same mindset of me. They're all saying the same thing. Shorten the duration and have big checks right now. We don't need 10 years. Wow. And if that can even get better, Pelosi is now becoming the advocate to get the recon done. Oh boy, this is looking really good. Let's go over some of the quotes. So first, we had no less than a week ago where Bernie said we need to hear what people want. Well, now you're hearing it. It's great. Tuesday, Pelosi said, we're going to make a couple of important decisions in the next few days so we can proceed. Well, they did. They understood that the way they do it is by shortening the duration of the recon programs. Not removing the programs, but shortening how, how many years they run. And then Pelosi said the critical quote going into the weekend. The recon will get done because it must get done. <gasps> wow. That's Pelosi? Yeah. She is becoming a real big, big advocate for it. I love how Pelosi and Alex Padilla, who is our senator from California, replaced Harris, uh, said the focus of the recon really right now is the climate. Obviously, because that's the only thing that's holding this situation up to getting over the finish line. We can get the recon from 3.5 trillion to 2 trillion in a blink of an eye. 20 minutes we can get it to there. But getting this, these wordings and this climate all fixed so everyone likes it, that's where the battleground is. Pelosi says central to the recon is the climate part of this legislation. There you go. And Alex Padilla says no climate, no deal. There you go as well. Then we have the incredible quote from uh, Bob Casey. He says, people say, why haven't we done more of this? He says, that's exactly my point. We haven't done this in 40 years. <laughs> and then the best quote of the entire week comes from Jalapal, which basically says, we don't need to be focusing on 10 years. We need to be focusing on big large checks fast right now. She says, we would rather reduce the number of years of the programs because the universality of the benefits, the checks, and the immediacy of the benefits, the quickness of getting the checks, is absolutely critical. There you go. She says, frankly, that's more important to us than having the programs run the entire 10 years. Wow. Have we ever had a time where Pelosi, Jalapal, and Adelaide are all in a Vulcan mind melt? I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Everyone's on board. Everyone's focused. Joe Manchin's explaining what he wants. They're explaining what they're going to do. The president's making concessions. We know how to get from 3.5 down to 2 trillion. And you just shorten the duration from 10 10-year programs to 5-year programs. Suddenly we have 2 trillion. It's just looking 
really, really good. And there you go. Now, let's continue with the great news, which is something we no, did not see coming, which is that cola raise. The cola raise, 5 to 6%, yes. If you're a recipient of benefits, you got that letter from Social Security Administration. Your cola benefits are going up an average of 5 to 6%, but guess what? They're going to go up two more times. <gasps> Yes, under fifth stimulus. Oh, boy. Let's go over all the incredible details right now as we turn to the subject matter. I know in this video I've covered a lot of money for seniors under fourth stimulus. So let's put that aside. Let's put aside the cluster checks for seniors. Let's put aside the Bob Casey money for seniors. Let's just focus on this, the COLA, and also fifth stimulus, which reforms the money for my seniors and my SSDI. What's important to understand is that when we were looking back in July and we we're talking about fiscal stimulus and reforming the system, we were looking at that time how high your benefits would be lifted up later this year. And at the time, I said, I think inflation is going to go to 5%. That means your benefits would step up not just 5% next year, but lifetime. Remember how many times I said that? Well, at the time, Wall Street is looking at 2% inflation. <laughs> well, guess what? They were wrong, and I was wrong. It's actually higher than I put it. They were undervaluing it, and I was closer to the number, but it's going even higher. It may be as high as 10%. So COLA, which has been Zippo for many years for many, many people, is suddenly a nice number. Exactly the number we went in, in, in uh, under fifth stimulus. Wow, that's great news, but it gets even better. You're going to get two other lifts under fifth stimulus on top of this. Oh, boy. Let's go over all the details. Under fifth stimulus, they're also going to raise you up after this one big time. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, then they'll lift you up a third time when they apply the new benchmark next year. That new benchmark is inflation. And if they get this out to law, let's say, in February, then the benchmark will be applied next year, inflation replacing COLA. Next year, COLA could be zero again. Inflation ain't going to be zero next Christmas, December 2022. It's going to be 2 3%. That means you'll go up another 3% on top of all these other lifts. So again, the first lift, this is coming in the next few weeks. This is law. Then under fifth stimulus, when that becomes law, they'll raise you up one time. Then in December of next year, they'll raise you up again as they apply the new benchmark inflation. They're going to remove the asset cap dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 in the hand. It's going to go away. Now you'll be able to have some Cardinal's rent on hand. <laughs> Sorry, Canute. They're going to remove the income cap dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. That's going to go away. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to win, uh, going to end. And love is going to win. And you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest like Rob and, Mar and, and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear the loss of the marriage penalty. You can be able to do a pair dance do a pair dance at your own wedding. And that is the incredible details of a stimulus. Not just one lift, but two and third after that if it becomes a law. Now, let's turn back over to the one item that no one really saw coming, which is that big, exciting details of more money for third stimulus. Yes, viewers are getting additional sums of money for third stimulus, and it started a few days ago. Remember when one viewer um, had, named Prina got money, not this week, but the week before that? Let's look at Prina. Here's Prina's message. Remember when I told viewers to that the additional $13 billion is going out to city, counties, and states for rent to go get it? She got it. I want to thank you, LA, so, so much. I want to thank you. As soon as you mentioned the extra $13 billion going out to the states, I pounced. I reached out to the city of Austin, and I immediately got approved. I got rent November to January. Now $6,000 for eight more months. Wow. I'm going to show you how to get the sums of money. And guess what? I see a couple of viewers in the live chat who have gotten money before. You're going to get more money. Lorraine's in there. Jennifer's in there. I see a lot of people have gotten money from this channel. You're going to get more money because there's more money available. So get that pen paper ready because I'm going to show you one person who got $36,000. Mark, $51,000 Mark, got another $36,000 for rent last week. What's going on? You can get more rent. If you've gotten rent twice before this channel, you can get more rent into 2022. So get that pen, paper, cell phone ready. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, SNAP, food, clothing, appliances, 
and home repairs, and even holiday gifts. We're going to go over all those details right now. First, I want to show you six places to reach out to. Reach out to all six. They have different eligibility. They have different pots of money. Next, get ready for the keywords I see in this video. It helps get people approved. And then those nonprofits, boy, they're wonderful. So get ready for those nonprofits as well. As well. And here we go. Here are the six places you reach out to. You reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, and your state house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, rent or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. And how much rent? Let's look at it. Well, Nisi got 20000 And Mark at the time got 25000 He got another 36000 Yes. Elizabeth, all Purple Hawks. Got 27000 Viewers are now getting upwards of $40,000 across the board. Then utilities. Reach out to all utility companies. So if you have five, you reach out to five. And boy, the numbers are going big. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000 for utilities. Then when we look at SNAP, what are you doing? You need to go get it. SNAP is money for food. You get it from Department of Agriculture. Eligibility is easier than a stimulus check. It is money for food. And Mark's brother-in-law is going to $26,000 a year. Why so much money? Because everyone's benefits are going up an average of 25% a lifetime automatically starting this month. Get multiple sums of money. Here is Nancy, Mark, and Nisi, $32,000. Here is Lorraine, <laughs> $105,000. Well, now she's going to almost $110,000. Here's Mark. He was at $51,000. He's now going to nearly $80,000. Now let's turn to the nonprofits. Boy, the nonprofits are wonderful. What's important to remember is that there is money from the federal government for third stimulus everywhere. Every city, county, and state has the money. It is absolutely everywhere. So if your neighbor's brother, sister's brothers, cows, dog walkers, uh, rap singer, ventriloquist tells you there's no money in the state, he's just totally wrong. Tell the ventriloquist to shut his mouth. <laughs> Don't move those lips. You just don't know what you're talking about <laughs> because there is money there. Now, if you reached out and you, and you found the money and you're not eligible for the money, then it's time for the nonprofits. The nonprofits pay for the same items under third stimulus the federal government does, just with different eligibility. And here are the five nonprofits. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. What's great news about those nonprofits is they also pay for items that the federal government doesn't pay for. They'll help homeless people get into shelter. They'll get you clothing if you can't afford clothing. They'll provide you warm meals if you cannot get enough food or you can't get food right urgently. Their concept is based upon things like they don't want you to freeze to death in the winter. They don't want you to burn up to death in the summer. So they want to keep you cool and warm. So they often have provided viewers of this channel brand new refrigerators, furnaces, portable heaters, blankets, and things like that. Salvation Army, I've been telling viewers since I think it was September to reach out to them for holiday gifts because they get them in October. Some viewers have reported some Salvation Armies in their local area have now ran out holiday gifts. It, they're all quite different, but I think that they will also be, they'll all be basically done by about Halloween. So check around. You may be down to the last few days for those as well. Let's go over those five nonprofits again. Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charity, St. Vincent de Paul, and United Way. Then make sure you get those money back from unemployment benefits from your state. Yes, overpayment due to computer error. It's landing. Average payment is $2,000 to $5,000. Reach out to your state for that money. Then the refund check back from your federal government due to overpayment of unemployment, due to taxes you paid on unemployment benefits. Margaret's in the live chat. She got it. So did Cod Michael. And if you got an any sums of money, post it in the live chat right now. When you post your success stories, you inspire other people to get sums of money. And if you're one of those people who've gotten money from this channel, keep on getting more money. I've had viewers now go on their fourth round of rent. You need to get this money as far as you can. Finally, if you haven't become a member and get a Purple Hawk emoji behind your name, what are you doing? Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP today. The link is under the video. Join today and get delivered to, from me to you the LA Late newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It features all the big money under first, second, and third stimulus and self-proposed under fourth stimulus. It's aborted and it's delivered from the YouTube alert system 
for members, and the LA Late Alert System for you as well, which is totally free. That's also in the description of this video. If you need help finding the LA Alert System or the membership, reach out to the volunteers. They've now been added to the community page just for the newsletter. It's important to understand that when we look at force stimulus, it'll pay viewers this channel about $15,000. I will be here when it becomes law to show you how to get that money. This is what I do. I did this for third stimulus. As soon as third stimulus became law, I said, don't focus on a $1,400 stimulus check. Because on the third stimulus, I can get you an average of $15,000. I've now, so far, gotten viewers an average of $40,000. Average of $40,000. And I've been doing that for several months, and they're still getting it. That's the great news. Knowledge is king and knowledge delivers money. There's a lot of money in this recon, this fourth one, which is much bigger than the third one. A lot of money. And imagine how much money I've got in viewers on the third stimulus, 40000 Imagine how much I'm going to get you under fourth stimulus as well. We got a lot of news across the board today. We're coming back next live on air at noontime at 11 a.m. It's going to be a big show. We're going to go over more about those double Joe Manchin deals, how this recon is getting right to the edge of the finish line, how everyone's now communicating, expressing what they need, how we have that recon coming down to a price tag very quickly by shortening the duration of the programs, how we have freed up cash that can now be allocated to other things like MSE. We got a big show. It's coming up at noontime. Then the 1 o'clock afternoon show, the 3 o'clock afternoon show, the 5 o'clock evenings LA, and then Street and Slimus at 6, and then we have shows 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 30, till we go into the new morning. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you probably to a wonderful family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. So you learn about all the big money available for you across the board. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.